and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today i'll be showing you how to create your own playlist and play it in the background using your terminal in linux you'll only be needing to use one command to play it and that's the goal so let's get started now first thing you need to do is you need to get a link from a video you want or all the videos you want now just recap on the previous video you should get the link from the share button inside of the video otherwise you will still get a slight amount of error because this method doesn't work you need to use this button after I've copied the link what you want to do is you want to open your file manager and you want to paste the link in there then you want to go copy whichever other links you want and paste it in there as well just leave a space between the links and it should be fine I already have a bunch of links I want to use, but you can go and get your own links, it's up to you. Now you need to open your terminal and type in it cd slash etc slash profile.d. If you don't have a profile.d folder, you can create one. Basically anything in this folder gets loaded at boot. That's all you need to know for now. So what you want to do is you want to create your own file. You can call it whatever you want. It just has to end in a .sh. To do it, you just say sudo touch whatever you want the file name to be .sh. Now you'd want to open it. You have to go sudo, your editor, and then the file name. In my case, sudo sub custom2.sh you might want to use nano or bi slash vim it is up to you what you use i just like to use sublime text and you need to add a sudo at the front to give yourself super user abilities now we need to create a few variables so what you want to do is you want to go export give yourself a variable name i'm calling my variable music equals and then in quotation marks you paste all of those links you gathered and just throw it all in there and then you add a semicolon on the end after that we create another variable so we say export playlist or whatever you want to call it equals and then in quotation marks mpv dash dash no dash video and then dollar and your variable name. In my case, it's music since I called my variable music. Now, after you have saved this file, what you want to do is you want to reboot your PC because now on the next load, it should read that file and be like, okay, there are new variables I should use. As you may have seen, I already have my own custom.sh file. So I already have all of my own things, which means I'm not going to reboot my PC at this moment since that will just be kind of irritating. So I am just going to show you how to use it after you have rebooted your PC. Now all you have to do after you have rebooted your PC is just call the variable that you created. In my case, it was dollar $playlist. In your case, it will be dollar whatever you named your variable. Now just press enter and your playlist should start playing very soon. Thank you for watching. If something this video didn't work out for you, Please refer back to the previous video, in which case we installed a few things in order to make everything in this video work. Or look at the description. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.